This is Redstone. Hey guys, Exojet here, and today I have something called a budded hidden crafting table, I think. I'm not too sure if that's the name, but that's what I'm going to call it. Seems about right. So, I first saw this uh, by someone named Mr. Joe Billy. I had thought of building one, but I was kind of lazy. But when I saw his, it was really big. So I'm like, yeah, I, I have the smallest, like, torch key entrance. And I'm starting to get tired of these torch keys, guys. Don't worry, I'm not, I, I'm human. I get tired of things. But, uh, I guess this, this one's really cool. So you take your redstone or your torch. And there's a few other things that will update. But redstone and torch are probably the best ones. So, come here and place your redstone down, and a crafting table pops up. But now, like, fully functional crafting table, you can craft whatever you want. Just like that, it made me a redstone block. And, um, if you don't want this anymore, just, just update it again, and there we go. It's not as small as I want it to be, there's this whole, like, six by it's let's say no it's a three by two by th three by three by two area that's completely unused here and i'm not a fan of that but it's okay and the only form of memory that it has is this this one block that spits out but it doesn't have any other memory otherwise this does work in bucket like most of my creations do um and most of my creations work in bucket because i work in uh i do this in cube crowd, so here it is again. Yeah, so now how to build it. Okay, now for the tutorial. So here is the double extending pistons. Here I have the swapper storage pistons, so they kind of do that and the double extender changes. I'm gonna go really, really fast because I've tried this so many times already and I'm kind of, I'm, I've been getting lots of bad luck lately. So you want to put a piston here with a block on its face, then come there, put a torch on top, then you want to come here, and put a redstone there. Now you put a, uh, what are these called, tripwire hooks, so that the redstone doesn't interfere with that piston. Then you want to put a torch here, and come here, and put a redstone there. This right here is going to be a piston monostable, and you want this to be go like this. And three ticks and one tick. That's going to be the last part of your traction. So now you want to come here and put a repeater on one tick. Put that there with a torch there. And then a piston there with a redstone block on its face. And that's what's going to start the double extender. So that powers the double extender. Now you want to come here and down there and here again. So you make this diagonal shape. So, come here and put your piston there. That's These both are going to get butted by this uh, redstone, and that piston is, is going to get butted as well by the same piece of redstone, so that's an important piece of redstone there. Now you want three ticks on this repeater. That redstone blocks and power that repeater, which will go into this redstone and this redstone. And then into that at one tick. Come here, put this on four ticks build up, put a redstone on top of that block, now come here, put a redstone on four ticks, make the redstone power go through a block, into that redstone, into this, and then you want this in a repeater on one tick, and that will power this piston, and it's almost night, so I want to turn it to day, slash time set day, oops, day, okay, and so... Eventually, we're going to put a redstone block on this piston's face, but not now. And then, what we want to do is, oops, take the output from this piston monostable, and we want this on one tick. Come here, and we put two repeaters through one tick. And one thing I forgot to mention in the earlier uh, segment of this video is that all the redstone's completely hidden underground. You don't see any of it. Now, you put redstone here on four ticks. And this isn't a very good uh, piston block swapper, so 
you have to put a furnace here so that pistons don't like accidentally screw up the whole system now put a torch here and one thing right now is you want to power that repeater but we'll remove that redstone block later then you want to put a torch there and a uh, another torch there so once this retracts we that this piston will already technically be powered so that's why the furnace is there and then we need to update this piston and we'll use that with a sticky piston and a block on top and in some lucky locations not all though um, you can use a non-sticky piston and to test I know this one you need a sticky piston because I've tried it already so to test it you just break the block and if that happens if the crafting table is now in the spot of your designated butted floor block then yeah that's good and so one more thing is this piston here comes here and what this piston does is it's kind of what switches between the double extender and the not double extender this one piston here and that's just because it updates when it's retracting but it takes longer to update when it's extending and this piston uh, extends the double extender just in time so it works perfectly and then the last last thing we need here is just a redstone block on the face of this piston and your double extender should extend and then just put a torch here and there we go fully functional crafting table uh, butted pop-out crafting table. So thanks for watching. Bye.